what's up guys? I am headed to Tucson. I wish I could show y'all my outfit of the day. It's so cute. Why do I still have my work bag on? I um I left work a little early. I did the early schedule again. So my operator can have her PTO request today. And today was the last day. But anyway, I'm on my way to Arizona. I'm gonna be in Tucson. Y'all would not believe the scenery. I, San Diego has a very severe thunderstorm coming. And it's I think it's coming up through LA. But I think I'm gonna um I'm going parallel with the storm, so I may just miss it. Y'all look at this view. I'm gonna have to oh this wind is pushing the car. station in a minute but it looks like oh, yeah I'm gonna have to find a gas station in a, in a minute but that is so pretty out here never mind the fact we're in the middle of nowhere Monday morning. I am still in Tucson, Arizona. I showed y'all some of the sights coming here. Nothing but mountains. Y'all, I'm still here. I'm not leaving until tomorrow morning. Oh my goodness. Let me tell y'all about this weekend. Oh my goodness. Where do I start? I guess the place, the best place to start is from the beginning, right? Okay, let me tell y'all. So I got here Friday and I'll go show them. I was just glad to be here with them. And Saturday morning, on the way in, I saw a Waffle House. I was like, oh, we could go to Waffle House and eat Saturday morning. Because they have Waffle House in North Carolina. They don't have one in California. So I said, let's go to Waffle House. We went to Waffle House. Saturday morning, we got up. I got sick. Go figure. Um, anyway, so the afternoon, he kept saying, well, I want to go to Cheesecake Factory. And I'm thinking, I'm still sick from Waffle House. I don't feel good. We could just lay around. He's like, but I really want to go to Waffle House. To, um, I really want to go to Cheesecake Factory. And I'm thinking, I don't feel good from Waffle House this morning. He was like, well, I was hoping to go. And I kept saying, well, I didn't get, come all the way here to get sick. It's a five-hour drive. Get it together. Dance, pull yourself together. So we're leaving the hotel to go to Cheesecake Factory that night. We was downstairs and he said, oh, I forgot something in the room. So he came back up in the room. We got to Cheesecake Factory, we ate. The waitress came over after we ate to take our order for dessert. He said, oh, babe, I left my wallet in the car. And I'm thinking, you normally are not this forgetful, but oh, whatever. So the waitress was like, well, do you know what you want? I said, a Dutch apple cheesecake. She said, can you come and show me which one? I was like, lady, what are you doing? It's a Dutch apple cheesecake. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all what I'm looking at in a minute. Anyway, I said, it's a Dutch apple cheesecake. She said, can you just can you just come with me? I'm thinking, you're really weird. I'm just feel, getting over feeling bad. I'm going to go with you so we can just get past this whole situation you got going on. So I went up to the front. I looked in the, um, the case where they keep the cheesecake. I said, that one, I want a Dutch apple cheesecake. I said, it doesn't have to be big, but I don't want the smaller slice either. She said, what else do you want? And I was like, oh, no whipped cream. I said, none at all. She said, is that it? I'm like, lady, what is wrong with you? Is something really wrong with you? Something is not, I was, this is too much for me right now. So I turned around to go back to my table. She said, I noticed you ordered a veggie burger. Are you vegan or vegetarian? I said, well, right now I'm like teetering between both. 
She said, oh, I tried to go vegan. I failed. I said, oh, okay. You should try it again. And I'm thinking in my head, I really don't give a damn. I want to go sit down. And every time I tried to move, she would do this, like maneuver in front of me. I'm like, what is wrong with this lady? So then she started looking over her shoulder behind me, which was the entrance to the restaurant. I turned around. Shane's walking in with these flowers. Now, I didn't have a vase for him here, so I had to kind of get over him, and I put him in the sink with some water. And I was thinking, so when he got into the restaurant, I was thinking, oh, that's so sweet. And I gave him a hug for the flowers, and after I gave him a hug, I grabbed his arm, like, let's go back to the table. Okay, you guys pulled that off. That was really cute. I want to go sit down. So when I tried to maneuver to go back to the table, he pulls me back to the middle of the floor. And all of a sudden, people are standing around us, looking at us, pulling out cameras. I'm like, what is going on? I was not expecting this. I want to show y'all what he got me. I was like, oh my gosh, my teddy bear did that. Hold on, y'all. Let me, because I, hold on, y'all would understand. So in the middle of Cheesecake Factory, First of all, I apologize for the TV in the background, but I'm getting ready to go to the gym. So in the middle of Cheesecake Factory, he proposes to me. Look, y'all, he put a ring on it. She said yes. Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> with this ring. Oh my goodness. It's not on the way of my finger because I'm getting ready to go to the gym, so I took it off. Look at there. Oh my goodness. Yes. He did that. I'm not holding my middle finger for y'all. I just want to show y'all the ring. Oh my goodness. I was so, I was like, that's right. Do not cry. You have too much makeup on. You're going to be a runny mess. He has a white shirt on. Do not cry. It's not going to be a good look. So he was, and then I realized he was on his knees. He said, are you going to say something? I was like, oh, oh, yeah, of course I will. Because I'm thinking, I'm giving myself this prop talk like you will not cry. You will not do that. You have too much makeup on. You're not, it's just not going to be a good look. And not realizing he's still down on his knees. But oh my goodness. And actually, it's, um, let me take it apart. It's three parts to the ring. It's the wedding band and then the first year anniversary. But I'm just going to wear all three pieces together. And so we're going to go to just another piece, which means just us two, four piece, and have a select few close friends and family around. That's going to be it. So, put it my main back. We went yesterday and actually went back to the jeweler because the two bands, that when you put those on, it make it kind of tight. Because these are the two bands without the ring and they make it kind of tight. So, isn't that so pretty? But yeah, so we're going to have to go have the, um, the actual band's size. The ring itself fits really well it fits good i had no problem with the ring so yeah that was my weekend and now i gotta go back tomorrow leaving my teddy bear here all alone good morning good tuesday morning y'all oh my goodness can y'all see me is the lens clear or is that the sign Y'all, I'm leaving Tucson. Yes, he went to work and I gotta go back to San Diego so I can go to work. And I'm on my way back right now. I'm sad. I really, really sad. Yeah, it's really pretty here. It's with the mountains of the east. I mean, it's a, Tucson is a small city, but it's really pretty. As far as, you know, the scenery, the mountains, the traffic, uh, not so much. Because some of the 
the way they have to cross over. Y'all don't have no makeup on. Look, I don't, I don't need to travel like with makeup. Not in the airport, I'm in my car. Look, see, see what y'all doing? Why is everybody over there? Should I be over there? Is this a Tony Mac? What's going on? I need to find a Starbucks, that's what I need. Oh, let me see if I can see the mountain. Wasn't that a pretty view? Oh, yeah, I gotta find a Starbucks. So I can hit the road. And it doesn't seem to want to be on the way up. There we go. Yes, I'm still going right because my GPS hasn't turn, told me to turn at all. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a six hour drive. And I will talk to y'all later.